Hi again, everybody. I'm Ty Linder. Welcome back to the Max Center for the final regular season game of the year. It was senior night for Kent State, and the Golden Flashes did not disappoint. To the highlights here. Golden Flashes have the ball back, turning, and the Jimmy Hall shot. To and now driving Thomas, got to the basket. He scores. Looking to his right into a catching and shooting Jalal Cancer, and he missed everything, but Hall has the rebound and put back to tie the game. Out, and it's Ortiz feeding Jalal. He'll fake again out to Jalen Walker, and Kent State now has a new 30. Walker, good spin move, fades and fires, and hits. It's a great shot. He's missed a handful of those short ones. Thomas, the other way, will drive and show him how it's done. I don't know. And all of those were within the paint, it seemed like. Here's Hall for three. Thomas to Ortiz. Lob play down to Hall. He's under the basket. Waits has the patience to circle back and score. Ortiz, the rebound, threw it into the middle where it's run down by Walker. He'll pop the transition. Triple and score. Oh. Rolling around, picked by Kellen. Throw it down and on a runner. It's slammed down by Chris Ortiz. A couple of fouls. Six minutes to go in the period. The Golden Flashes are up five. Thomas trying to change that. Does with a silky smooth long one. Here's Chris Ortiz. He has it blocked. Oh, what a play by Davis in midair. Picks up the miss and puts it in. The Golden Flashes and Falcons found themselves in a defensive stalemate early on, and then the Golden Flashes made their move, going out to a nine-point lead in the first half and ended up leading by six at the end of the first 20 minutes for the Golden Flashes tonight. Jimmy Hall trying to steal the spotlight on senior night as he struck for 22 points and nine rebounds. Jalal Cancer, though, on senior night was phenomenal as he finished with 18 points. He hit three three-pointers as well, including one that sent Kent State into the locker room with that six-point lead. Kellen Thomas played well, finished with 10 points. The Golden Flashes got 12 rebounds from senior Chris Ortiz as well in the dominating effort. In the second half, the Golden Flashes defense was just as good as it was in the first half, holding Bowling Green to just 27 points. And limiting sharpshooter Zach Denny, after he went 0 for 7 in the first game, to just 2 for 6 tonight, locking down a very good offensive player twice in one season. Dangerous pass and an almost steal. They got it to Walker instead, roaring down the left baseline with a two-hand slam jam. He plays with just enough swag. KSU KO of the Bowling Green Falcons. And that's it. The Golden Flashes end the regular season at home with a runaway victory over Bowling Green to sweep the season series from the Falcons, a team they could possibly see again in the not too distant future. Now as we wait for the other scores to fall, the Golden Flashes could have moved as high as third in the top four in the Mid-American Conference standings with one more game to go in this year's regular season. The second wagon wheel matchup at Akron on Friday night. Still nothing decided here in the Mid-American Conference race. Congratulations to all of Kent State's seniors on a terrific career. We'll be with you on Friday night from Akron. For all of us on Golden Flashes TV, so long, everybody.